Patient, but yeah, it does damage them as you can see. But you don't want to get too close to him if you want to farm this guy if you are in low level because you can. Yo, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back again to another video. So, yeah, I guess it's me, Builder Boy here. And today's video is we are back again to One Punch Man Destiny. And yeah, today is basically I'm gonna be showing you guys a quick beginner's guide, which will able to help you out in this game so basically the previous video i made is basically just me checking out the game but yo i actually got hooked up in the game i mean it's actually pretty interesting and yeah there's actually a lot of bosses where you can enjoy defeating and they are actually pretty pretty strong so which is why it's actually pretty challenging and basically you gotta have to know life the game in order to get stronger but anyways that's the purpose of this game to become a one punch man until your hair falls off and yeah you become bald but anyways yeah i will teach you how to become stronger in this game but i ain't gonna be showing you guys like get this quest and go ahead and kill these guys blah 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 i will just go ahead and skip to that point and go explore this game out for yourself and then level it up so yeah so first things first we have the first one which is by pressing z to train like basically if you put, click stats right here and just spam z as you can see it will train your strength I i'm pretty sure it also train your agility right there and yo also a quick tip right here don't put a lot of points in your stamina because you don't need that much of stamina so i made a mistake right here by putting 500 but i think that's already enough for me and also just go ahead and focus adding more points to your health because that will help you out i mean yo like it doesn't even barely took that much a lot of stamina if we use our skill sets right here like low look at that look at our stamina it barely gets anything so i basically gonna reset that sooner or later but anyway so yeah that's the first thing you gotta do by basically yeah by pressing z to train and also by clicking it also increase your strength right there as you can see but yo that ain't gonna be the best way to farm i mean you gotta have to do quests so basically right here but we ain't gonna be killing that like i said i will be showing you guys a quick way and how do you uh pick the right quest for you all right so yeah first is let's head up to the trello so right here is we have the one punch man destiny trello and i will be putting this in the description later on so as you can see there are like classes right here quest npcs and bosses so this is where we get a lot of informations about the game and yeah picking the right quest also but first let's talk about the classes so the classes right here is we have a lot of classes as you can see but i think there's like just three class that i like the most in my opinion i mean the best of the best classes to use when it comes to farming so basically i'm using ninja right now which is uncommon so basically there's a lot of information right here that you can check which gonna be helping you out as a new player so as you can see so like i said there's three best classes for farming so that is like the ninja espers or dark espers but that's only in my perspective right there so i don't know which one of you guys uses for farming but i want you guys to also share your thoughts about which classes they use for farming in the comment section below so that the other players would actually be aware in it because i'm pretty sure it's not just these three classes that are actually pretty good in farming so in the quest givers like i said so we have the um threads right here as you can see we have wolf threads as you can see so as you can see uh these are the starter quests right here so basically from up to down if you scroll down right here you can basically the threads going stronger right here so from wolf to tiger threads right here so meaning they're actually pretty stronger right there as you can see and now when it comes to demon threads right here bosses and of course bosses gives better reward along with some few extra uh rewards right here example strength you can basically get strength that fast and also if you kill a uh, better bosses it gives you 1k strength better xp as you can see right there and yeah there's this new um boss right here which is kabuto and yeah look at that 2.5 mil and i'm pretty sure it, this uh also gives strengths also they just didn't put it in here so the thing that i want you guys to pick for the class is it's basically a class with long range moves especially this one ninja has a long range attack with left click it also have a long range move like this e move and r move as you can see they are very very helpful why because most people in this game basically uh just afk farm for themselves and there's actually a lot of tricks in it and i'm pretty sure 
that sooner or later I will be making and the best of the best spots of those um, AFK farming right there which gonna be helps you out so I'm pretty sure you already know how to change your class which is this guy if you talk to him you can just go ahead and buy some spins and yeah click the spin button right here so I don't want to change my ninja because I still gonna farm like you know what I mean so I'm gonna be showing you guys some perks of a class with a long range move alright so for example we're just gonna go ahead and defeat the deep sea king and this is a boss and as you can see it gives us 800 strength and that is actually a lot and you can just basically do a spamming move right here for example press E there we go bam 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 see we're basically damaging him and it also does not attack you back because you are too far from the NPC and which is why it's actually pretty good in farming and I want you guys to get this type of moves that's gonna help you out so as you can see there you go all you gotta do is just basically spam that and though there you go killed without any uh wars that getting you killed it's right here this guy let's talk to him and let's see and defeat this vaccine man so as you can see uh this is the only thing i needed the strength rewards because yo i think we need a lot of strength in this game in order to become one punch man and yeah i don't have that much as you can see in my strengths but yo let's see so you can basically just go and spam your moveset again like i said but you gotta go ahead and keep your distance so yep let's go and spam these moves there you go bam mm -hmm. there you go so as you can see it's damaging him but yeah i don't want to spam this right here because yo i'm kind of too impatient but yeah it does damage them as you can see but you don't want to get too close to him if you want to farm this guy if you are in low level because you're gonna basically get wrecked but yeah right now i can basically defeat this guy without basically spamming my moveset in a long range move but yeah it's actually pretty simple but yep bam mm -hmm. there you go this is why i like ninja the most like yo look at this even the left click have like a long range attack and that is very very helpful indeed like yo look at that bam bam mm -hmm. see it doesn't even uh barely damage me because of i keep moving a lot and i'm just spamming my left click right there but yeah let's just go ahead and speed this up Alright, so yeah, it's about to die. I'm just basically spamming my moveset right here. And yeah, a few more HP. Yep. Yeah, he's dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, yo, yo, yo. I'm, uh, yeah, there you go. Easy. So that's basically it in this beginner's guide. I know it's pretty long, but hopefully it helped you guys out. And also, that's basically it that I'm going to be saying that like get a good class with better and long range moves that is gonna be helping you out especially in the next video that i'm gonna be making so wait for it and the second one is follow the trellos quest right there you can get a lot of information which type of quest that you gotta do next rewards and stuff so which is actually pretty cool also hopefully this video helped you guys out and if it did make sure to leave a like don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on for more awesome videos like this so yeah guys as always thank you for watching and see you in the next video peace out <laughs>